All right. Oh, we missed a library, but I should. Next time, my friend. Next time. It's over there. Magic door is magic. Funky. Oh, maybe the library will be up here. Let's have a look. There it is. Alright, what do we have? Search this pile of books. And we only found one book. Living Forever, The Immortalists. This speculative book explores a subject many believe to be a hard fact. Oh, many to believe to be hard fact. Though, not as many as those who believe it to be complete horse manure. The existence of immortal beings in modern day Albion. What is beyond dispute is the existence of arcane texts that mention the power made available to the Archons, rulers of the Old Kingdom, by the most primal demons and gods, which would grant them eternal life. According to those who believe these legends, the hero who went by the name of Scythe would not have been a mere necromancer, but one of the Archons. Oh, oh. If this theory is correct, there could be dozens of immortal beings passing themselves off as normal people, or hiding from, immort from mortal eyes. It is they that are the sect known as the Immortalists, spend their lives seeking, in the hope that the power will be bestowed upon them too. Well, oh, jolly good. Fan theory, maybe? I don't know. But Scythe was pretty badass. An addition for Fable Lost Chapters, but you don't see him in the original game. Let's keep going. <coughs> Beetles. I love the Beetles. Oh, poor man, he's dead, man. Miss him, miss him, miss him. Yeah, I know you said this. Okay, okay, the hero of Oakvale. That's the main character from the first game. This is one of the many books written about the hero of Oakvale who defeats the dreaded Jack of Blades. Though there are many conflicting reports regarding the hero's life and his feats, all accounts agree that he wielded the legendary sword of Eons against Jack and slew him twice, once in Jack's human state and again in the form of a dragon. You hear that? Fable Lost Chapters is the official bird. Among his many other accomplishments are his victory in Witchwood Arena, the slaying of the White Balver Rhine, and the freeing of the Prophets of the Fire Heart. Though any official records of his possible offspring would have been destroyed in the civilian attack on the Hero's Guild. Well, that's that's a bummer. The civilian attack on the Hero's Guild. Bloody civilian. It is believed that his bloodline continued, and that one day a new hero will emerge to save Albion in his time of need. Jolly good. And now we're going to hear a depressing story about the Guild. But after this one. The Tattered Spire. This rare book has the stain of time upon its pages. It tells of the fall of the Old Kingdom, and what many scholars believe was the catalyst of its destruction. The Tatted Spire. It is said that the construction of the spire was ordered by the last Archon, and that it was to be a conduit for all the will in the world. The power it would command would be so great reality itself might be shaped by anyone who would use it. And the day of its completion, the Archon entered the spire, and the kingdom subject awaited what would be his first wish. Whatever that wish was, the outcome was a wave of energy so vast it lay waste to the entire kingdom. What this truly was this truly the Archon's wish to erase a corrupt world so that a fresh one might take its place? Who knows? Who knows? And there's a hole over here. Oh, a box. Let's open this up. So, this is the old guild library, I guess, apparently. One of my favourite spots in the old game. Now it's just a bunch of bookshelves. Economy value of necklace. Oh, well, a necklace. I mean, this whole big fat chest had a little necklace in it. That's What a waste. So, let's keep going. Doggy has found something. Come on, Pooch. Where do you got? Treasure. Nice find. There we go. It's going to open up this. Children's health potion. Well, that's jolly good. We could do with that later on. Good work, doggy. Right, let's find out uh, uh, any more books. Aha! The end is almost nigh. Yeah. This is a collection of predictions and doom mongerings from the mystic and, so um, and soothsayer Arthur Dandelion. Here's more cryptic visions, such as the one about two brothers of little wit who shall release a howling death upon the, um, upon the town of blood. 
oh, that's not, you know, a, a, a foreshadowing in any way, have invited speculation and much shrugging of soldiers, uh, shoulders. Among his other prophecies is the one that foresees the invention of a machine that will aid in the cleaning of soiled garments. His most famous warning is the one that predicts the end of the world. According to the dandelion, it will not. It will come suddenly. It will not come suddenly, but the ground shall shake, and the past shall erupt into the present in a most bloody manner. Though perhaps a strange being shall transform into a dragon and lay waste to all the lives long, um, to all that lives long before time. Take two. Well, we're not going to edit that out. Though perhaps a strange being shall transform into a dragon and lay waste to all that lives long time before that. I don't know. What do I know? This isn't an exact science or anything. I'm a soothsayer. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've read loads of books, and we've read loads of books, and we've read loads of books. Any more books? Where is, uh, where's the one that... Yeah, it's probably you get them in the bookshop, the one about the guild and how it got overthrown by civilians and it's just depressing because that was my favourite place in the old game and now you're saying, oh well that place ain't here anymore, just so you know. Eh, yeah. Okay, more beetles, surprise attacks, maybe. Ah, this looks like a chamber Beyond of fate. These broken doors lies the hero's guild. Oh -ho. I can only walk slowly, For apparently. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once what happened worshipped here? by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated. No man alive today remembers the night the guild burned, and now it lies forgotten. But the heroes are not all gone. You are here. How depressing. Your blood is awakening. For you. <clears throat> you can now channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Before you is a colors gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use will yet. But the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate the colors gate. Right, this chest here. Go to www.fable2.com for information on how to access the gold and items your heroic ancestors left behind. Or better yet, go to fable2.com to play a mini game, and then you'll either get an expression or whatever, and then you'll find out, hold on a second, Fable 2 is down. And it's never going to go up again. And the achievements associated with this chest will never be unlockable. So you'll never be able to get all the achievements in this game because you haven't unlocked them all because you can't go to Fable 2 because Fable 2 is down. So this was a big kick in the butt. That's what you get. This chest is completely useless now. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, right. skill, Right, let's have a look at will. these attacks. Shock stuns your enemies and blasts them with lightning. One of my favourites. Inferno calls forth magical flames to scorch and burn your foes. Yeah. Now it doesn't see shock has a maximum number of shock targets. Stuns your enemies. But Inferno doesn't. Them with light. However, Inferno you'll find out that if you're surrounded by about twenty enemies, that they'll foes. only be able to hit about half of them, which which is a bit ridiculous. Time control. Time control allows you to slow the world around you or to move with incredible speed. Okay, which is your old assassin rush and slow time updated. Blades creates magical swords to impale your enemies. Blades is my least favorite spell. Vortex creates a powerful windstorm that will pummel your enemies with nearby debris or even other enemies. Hmm. That one's pretty lame too, in my opinion. Chaos confuses your foes, making them unpredictable. They may flee, attack their fellows, or even fall in love with you. That's an awesome spell. Force Push sends a blast of energy towards your enemies, hurling them into nearby objects. It is very effective in confined spaces. Raise 
dead causes the bones of the recently deceased to rise and fight for you. So here's let me here's my opinion on these spells. All right, uh, we're gonna have a look at all of them at some point. We're gonna max them out. We're gonna have some fun with all our will spells. Shock's really good for quick attacks. It's good for your basic attack. Infernal's a really good spread attack. So these two are the ones I want to invest in the most for attacking. Time control I never use. I never use vortex chaos. Force push I hardly ever use. Never use raise dead. Why well, I sometimes use it. And uh, yeah, hardly ever use blade. I just use uh, shock and infernal. But I will be using these other spells at, at least at one point in the game for, you know, messing about with having fun. Uh, in fact, if we get wealthy enough, we'll be able to buy lots of experience and spend all of these spells and have a lot of fun. So, right now, shock. Let's have a look at uh, skill. 